Hello guys and welcome to the video. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add Stripe to WooCommerce in WordPress. So if you want to add the Stripe payment method in this video, I'll show you exactly how to do that. So we're going to be using this article as a guide and I'm going to leave a link in the description so you can also use this when you're trying to integrate Stripe. So Stripe is a very popular payment method for WooCommerce and for processing payments. Uh, it's very easy to add Stripe on WordPress. Uh, definitely you need to have installed WooCommerce already. So I'm just going to guide you through the process. Uh, the first step here is adding the Stripe Gateway plugin. So this is the name of the plugin, WooCommerce Stripe Payment Gateway. I'm going to copy the name from here and we'll go to our test website, go over to plugins, click on add new and paste in the code. So I'm going to paste in WooCommerce Stripe Payment Gateway and the first result here, click on install now. and activate okay so once stripe is activated you go over to woocommerce and click on settings then you go over to payments the payments tab and you should see stripe listed here uh, as one of the payment methods so once you add in stripe stripe is actually going to generate a lot of uh payment gateways we have stripe sepa band contact and the rest of these uh the one you want to configure is this first one here so just click on set up and it's going to take you to the settings page for stripe so in order to make stripe work make sure you check this uh over here to make it enabled and scroll down so there are basically two modes for uh the stripe payment methods we have the test mode and once you uncheck this it's going to show you the live mode so there are two things that you need for your stripe to be fully configured you need the publisher key and the secret key okay so in order to get these two keys you need to be logged into your stripe account so i'm just going to go over to my stripe account um, i'm going to open this in a new tab so just go to your stripe dashboard and click on developer okay so this is a brand new account and it's not yet activated uh, so once you click on developer click make sure you select api keys and under api keys you're going to get publisher key and your secret key so just copy this here and paste over here and also public click on this to reveal your secret key copy this and paste it on your site okay so once you have this uh, added there's still one more thing that we need to do we need to add in the web hook endpoint so this URL here just copy this URL and go back to stripe select web hooks click on add an endpoint so you just click on this add an endpoint here and once this is loaded all you have to do is paste in the endpoint here and select a few events so for the events that you're going to add you need to add source chargeable source cancelled charge succeeded charge failed and every other thing here so you can pause the video and add each of these um, individual uh, events uh, i'm going to do that now so i'll click on type in source scroll down to chargeable and I'm gonna pause the video and add every other event so I don't uh, end up making the video longer okay so I just finished adding every single event here and I'm gonna click on add endpoints so that's basically what you need to do for the endpoints and next you have to click here to get the sign-in secret so you need to copy this code here after adding the endpoint, go back to the settings and add in the secrets here. Okay. Uh, apart from that, there's nothing else you have to do here. You can add in a statement descript 
tour if you want but it's optional and once you're done with everything just click on save changes okay so once you save this it's going to work so uh since this is a test account definitely my publisher key and secret key is not going to work so if you have a live site you can go ahead and add in a live publisher key okay so once you're done with this everything else should be configured so if you go back to payments i'm just going to leave here go back to payment you should be able to activate uh, these other stripe gateways so the setup is very similar click on setup and click on enable so as long as you set up the first stripe gateway there every other thing is just a matter of enabling and disabling okay so if i go back to payments i can enable them from here so i can enable any of these um, gateways from here if i want so the major setting is um, in this stripe credit card method okay so that's basically it for adding stripe you can test the payment method after you're done adding the life key and adding the hooks and uh, the api keys to see if it works and make sure you add in each and every one of these events okay if not it's not going to work so that's basically it for adding stripe to your site if you go over to uh, a product now you're going to see that stripe is activated and you can actually pay with stripe so that's basically it for adding stripe if you're running into any issues you can leave a comment in the youtube comment section below and subscribe to our channel for more content so with everything covered in this tutorial I'll see you guys in the next video.